Hey everybody, it's Michael here with goodyreader.com and today I'm going to help you troubleshoot some of the aspects that a lot of users are emailing us with about copying Android apps to your BlackBerry playbook. We do have a video that we film that basically walks you through the entire process, but there was a lot of common questions that people are asking. So the purpose of today is to really just give you some tips and tricks in order to be able to download apps from our app store and install them on your playbook. So the first thing you want to do is actually physically on your BlackBerry playbook via the internet browser to visit goodyreader.com slash apps. You don't want to download the apps right to your computer. In most cases, it won't work. You want to download them using the internet browser on your playbook. And once you go to goodyreader.com slash apps, you see on the front page here, e-reader apps for Android. And then right underneath here is BlackBerry Android apps. And you can see that we have a lot of apps that we have converted, signed with our signature and tested them on our playbook so all of these are verified working and you can see that we basically just have the editor's choice of apps Flickr, YouTube, Kindle and a bunch of e-reading apps as well as some comic book reading apps and so on a lot of people are asking well where's Skype, where's Google Currents, where's a lot of these multimedia players a lot of the times if an app is not written specifically for Java it's not going to really work on the playbook and Skype definitely won't work because a lot of apps that depend on the playbooks microphone and video camera uh, just simply aren't compatible from Android to Blackberry so the first thing that you want to do before you download any of these apps is to click on this essential download load Android apps to your playbook this is the app that you want to install to your computer. It's a self-installing application and the name of it is basically once you install it, it'll appear um, yeah, DDPB installer. So once you install it, this is what you'll see here. Now, it's very important that you follow our video tutorial that teaches you how to enter development mode on your BlackBerry playbook. You basically want to open up your playbook and go to settings and then go to the security option and then go to development mode. You want to turn development mode on and select a very easy to remember password. I, ge I generally use number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so it's very easy to remember. And then you'll notice a development IP address. It's important to note this down, but once you have your playbook plugged into your PC and press scan, it'll appear here, and then you want to manually enter your password which is the one I just told you about, and then press connect. Now in some cases people said that they have failed to connect. What you need to do in some cases is to download the most recent version of Java. You need Java on your computer. We have two links here for Java for 32-bit versions of Windows and 64 bits of Windows. If you don't want to download them from us, you can simply just enter uh, it in Google. So search for Java, Windows, whatever version you're running, 32-bit or 64-bit, and you can install it. You also need to install uh, Microsoft Net. Now, if your computer is up to date with Windows updates, you should be able to, you should already have this on your PC. If not, just go to your uh, Windows updates and download all the most recent updates to your computer and you should be good to go. Now, one question that we get a lot is when we go to my computer, people say, well, why is my BlackBerry playbook showing under network location? I can't actually access it. And this is a common question and a lot of users are experiencing this. When you enter development mode, in order to get your playbook to appear under my computer, you actually need to load up the BlackBerry Desktop Manager. 
You should already have this. If you don't, it's a free download uh, from uh, Research in Motion. And so it appears under BlackBerry, BlackBerry desktop software. It sometimes takes a few minutes to open here. Okay, and it's asking you for your password. This is the password that I asked you to ensure when you initially set up your development on the BlackBerry Playbook itself. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hit OK. It takes a minute or two for it to set up. Once it's uh, connected, it will, instead of appearing as a network drive, it'll actually appear under your list of browsable drives. So whether it's your D drive, C drive, E drive, whatever, it'll appear there. Click on it and navigate it. Okay, now you can see we can actually browse it here. Now, when you download applications from our App Store, they'll always appear in the downloads directory here. So when you open this up here and you want to download or install an application, you want to click Add. Go down to your playbook, click on downloads, and then click on whatever download that you've downloaded. I have Dropbox here. So I'm just going to, you know, double click, then you, you click install. Once you officially on the playbook course the bigger the app the longer time it takes to do so make sure here so you can pause the video and uh, make sure you do everything here again rather than typing in your IP address by hand hit scan because this will tell you whether you're actual if you've set it up properly on your BlackBerry playbook and again, we do have a video here that we encourage everybody to watch. We show you step-by-step -step how to set everything up on your tablet and then how to set it up via the PC. On a tablet, you know, it's honestly very simple. As long as you have the latest OS2 update, and this is found in settings and then update, and then it's a, a about a 400 meg update. Also, make sure during this entire process when you're downloading and copying apps that your playbook actually isn't prompting you for a password. It's important that any password that your playbook or your computer is going to ask you to input is always the password that you ch have chosen or selected for your developer's password. Um, on the top right-hand corner of your playbook, um, beside the Bluetooth, beside your Wi-Fi, besides the battery life uh, icons at the very top, there's a little guy wearing a shirt with a little circle on it. When you tap on that, it'll say development mode. It should be on. And usually it says expires in 10 days and then gives you an IP address. It actually gives you two IP addresses. Uh, for example, you see here 169-254-01. Now, don't enter in here any type of um, like periods or anything like that. And when you actually hit the guy with the shirt, there's usually two IP addresses, uh, such as mine is the one that you see here on the screen. And then beside that is another one saying uh, 192.168.1.70. You only have to be concerned with the first one. You don't have to be concerned with the second IP. 
But once you hit scan and the same IP appears that appears on your developer screen and you've entered your password and you hit connect, you should see all of this here. If you do see this here, it's very simple to add applications. And again, everything is found in your downloads directory on your actual playbook. So hopefully we have helped dispel some of the more uh, common questions or concerns. Um, in closing, I just want to say that you need to install this download before you copy apps to your PC. We've had some users say that they haven't done this and they're having troubles installing applications. And again, all of our applications uh, that we have here, we've all tested. So all of these work, Google Voice works, ES File, Astro, eBuddy Messenger. Uh, we're constantly adding applications all the time, so keep on checking uh, back to our App Store uh, for the latest apps. And if you have a specific request, let us know. But from my experience, most multimedia apps don't work. I've tried Meridian um, and tons. You know, basically the the four or five top ones on the Android market I've tried, and they don't work. So it seems as though for the immediate here and now, you're out of luck to play high definition MKV files. But we are on the case, and we will try basically every app under the sun in order to make this happen. If you have any further questions, please send us an email to support at goodyreader.com or if you click here on BlackBerry Android apps, you actually see a, a ton of comments uh, going on here. And we reply, hopefully, to every comment and give you a little bit of direction. So if you have a question that wasn't covered in this video, let us know and we'll do some follow-up ones. Uh, for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.